Liberty Bell and the explosives team have the deck to themselves. Only remote cameras are on hand to record the search for the so far bomb. The only place it can be is behind that liner or down there. Yeah. I'm look down there. Probing the dark for a pound of explosives more powerful than dynamite. GPS mark, we're about to let this thing over the side. Thank you, we have green deck, no more hazard. After the all clear, the team crowd in to explore the remarkable find. unbelievable. I mean, you wouldn't believe that you could pull something like that out of the water after 38 years. It's, it's really remarkable. Let me go take a quick picture inside. This is incredible. It's been a long time coming. Got a little work to do on it, though. A little more corrosion inside than expected, but uh, boy, it looks great, though. Max Airy, president of the Kansas Cosmosphere Museum, will lead the restoration of Liberty Bell. The dimes. Mercury dimes, this was kind of the emblem for the Mercury program where the Mercury had dimes. They were souvenirs. Uh, almost all the astronauts carry personal little memorabilia with them. This is a fantastic find. I can't wait to get in here further because I think we're probably going to find quite a few more. Well, we saw the pilot observer camera, where actually one of his spools, film spools in the pilot observer camera. You can see the film laying out, so that's history. Only the pilot camera could have captured the moment the hatch blew. The ruined film ends any hope of resolving the mystery. What are you feeling, Jim? Is that any more traps on it? Great. We've got it back. And it's a good looking spacecraft. What's that, Jim? That's the other end of our helicopter. <laughs> it still works. Can we help you down? Good design. Good design. Good American ingenuity. So you recovered it. it nice Finally got it, huh? We all did. What a team. What an effort. By dawn, the capsule has been lashed down in a temporary holding tank. Time and the sea have taken their toll, but Liberty Bell endures. A missing link in the history of space exploration. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Gus certainly had the right attitude. Uh, he realized the risk and yet he was willing to take it because he believed in what he was doing. In my mind, he is a hero and, and not unsung because I think that uh, what he did and what the other guys did is, was what we stepped on to go to the moon. There had been a sort of a tentative agreement with NASA that, uh, if at all possible, the first man on the moon would be one of the original seven. Dick Slayton indicated that if Gus had lived, he would have probably been the first man on the moon. This flight, Project Apollo fulfilled the promise of man in space.
exploration of the moon was a triumph shared by people around the globe. A triumph built on the achievement of men like Gus Grissom and the flight of Liberty de Bell 7. I think he'd be happy. I said, I hope he would be, because, you know, he, he was the one who said it was the only thing he ever lost. And now it's not lost. So, uh, I think he'd be pleased. He said, I like to think he'd be pleased. We brought it back for him, for, for everybody. We didn't solve any mysteries, but that, that's not really what I, at least what I set out to do. The whole thing was about getting it back, and we got it back. That's the main thing. In an incredible coincidence, today, 38 years to the day after Grissom first rocketed into outer space, Liberty Bell 7 returns to Cape Canaveral. Waiting on the docks is Gus's younger brother, Lowell Grissom. The spacecraft arrives cradled in a steel cocoon. On the last stage of Liberty Bell's epic journey, this converted boiler will be filled with salt water to stabilize the capsule's condition. Thirty-eight years ago, Lowell Grissom was among the throng of observers who watched Liberty Bell streak into the heavens. Today, he is among the first to welcome the long-lost spacecraft home. Gus would be really pleased to see uh, Liberty Bell back home. It's the only craft that uh, he didn't bring back. Think about Gus and all of the things that he did and all that he accomplished. And uh, he was tremendous, tremendous individual. Super engineer skilled, experienced test pilot, actually the astronaut's astronaut. Quite a guy. Such an exciting moment. I know he'd be pleased, very pleased to see it back. There went positive grades. Capsule has separated. We are at zero G and turning around and the sun is really bright. Though he never made it to the moon in person, Gus is there. On the far side of the moon, there is a crater named Grissom. The ultimate tribute to a man who gave his life reaching for the stars. Yeah, you just can't help but look out that way. And I see a star. 